Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic PCs, and today I'm going to show you my server. Um, I was going to show you guys earlier, but the parts I ordered haven't all come in yet, so I'm going to show you what I got so far. So this is what my server currently looks like. Uh, I'll start with the case, which I bought off some guy on Craigslist for like 60 bucks. Um, I couldn't find what brand it was. There's no branding on it absolutely anywhere. Um, so I had no idea what brand it was until a little while ago I found it on Newegg. I can't remember the brand currently, but I'll post a link to it where you can buy it on Newegg. I don't like this case for a few reasons, and that is one of the reasons why I've ordered a new one. The first one being, uh, it doesn't have a lot of motherboard mounting holes, uh, so this entire side of the motherboard is actually being supported by a little bit of foam underneath it, and the other half is all screwed in. Uh, the way the drives mount, I strongly dislike because you need to uh, pull this cage up in order to screw more drives in. Uh, and also, the cables, they sit very close to the top panel and so they get kind of squished, which uh, makes me pretty uncomfortable because I don't want to break off one of the uh, SATA data or power connectors. Um, I don't mind this area over here, that's not an issue. Um, I also didn't get a key with this, and so I just used like a scissor or something to unlock the front. Another thing I dislike is the front panel headers are actually really short, so my motherboard isn't even plugged in uh, to the front panel connectors, and so I just use IPMI to start the computer up. The CPUs are two Xeon X5550s. These are on the LGA1366 socket, and I'm going to be upgrading them to two L5640s. Uh, those are six cores, 12 threads each, versus these, which are four cores, eight threads each. So I'll end up with uh, many more processing cores. I've got 32 gigabytes of uh, DDR3 ECC RAM from Samsung possibly upgrading that to 64 gigs in the future, depending on needs. The motherboard is a Tyan S7012 uh, dual socket motherboard. I really dig this thing. It's got outstanding expansion. The BIOS is pretty decent, uh, and it's not bad. The power supply is an EVGA B2 600 watt. Uh, I'm upgrading this to a EVGA B2 uh, 850 watt. The reason for that is my server keeps shutting off randomly, the temperatures are fine, there's no errors with the memory, so it shuts off when I'm doing something very CPU intensive, and so I'm assuming it's because I only have a single 8-pin power connector uh, that I've split into two 8-pin power connectors. So I'm assuming I'm drawing too much from that rail and it's causing the computer to shut off prematurely, so I'm going to be upgrading that. Uh, the power supply should be in by the end of the week. Um, the hard drives in here, I've got a 250 gigabyte uh, Western Digital blue or black in there. That's the uh, storage drive, but this just came in today. It's an OCZ Tryon 150. This is their newer series of SSDs. Those are really good, unlike the Tryon, or, uh, Tryon 100s, which were pretty shitty. Um, that'll be the new, um, main operating system drive. It'll be a lot faster. Um, and then I've got two Western Digital 1TB greens in here for my mass storage. I'm going to be upgrading these to Seagate 4TB NAS drives. They're about $130 each, and, uh, so I'll have 8 terabytes of storage. I'll probably put it into a RAID array for redundancy once I get that up and going. And I've also got a new case coming in from Rosewill. Uh, it's way nicer than this one. It doesn't have a black interior, which doesn't bother me because I pretty much never look inside of here. And uh, that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment down below and tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. Until next time, peace out.